continue to stay on top of that breaking news for you now. We first brought you the story on News 6 at noon today. British Parliament remains on lockdown tonight after reports of a suspect stabbing a police officer. We now know as many as four people have died, including a police officer, and at least 20 others are hurt. Investigators in London say the stabbing suspect was shot by police and has since died. London police say they were called to nearby Westminster Bridge where we're told an SUV hit several people before plowing into railings and a fence near the Parliament building. All of this happened near popular tourist spots Big Ben and Westminster Abbey. We begin our team coverage tonight in London. Reporter Tina Kraus has the very latest from Parliament. <laughs> Terror struck the heart of London when a vehicle rammed into a crowd of pedestrians on Westminster Bridge. We just heard a bang and then we just saw three people in the road. Police say the vehicle then crashed into the gates of Parliament. People were seen running for their lives. Police say the suspect got out and stabbed a police officer before he was shot by another. Both the officer and assailant were killed. Investigators say a full-scale terror investigation is underway. We currently believe there was only one attacker. I'm sure the public will understand us taking every precaution in locking down and searching the area as thoroughly and exhaustively as possible. The House of Commons, which was in session at the time, was immediately suspended and lawmakers were asked to stay inside. Riders on the London Eye, a large Ferris wheel overlooking the Capitol, also had to stay put. Police say extra officers have been deployed around London. Tina Krause, CBS News, London. One woman was pulled from the Thames River near the bridge and is being treated for her injuries. President Trump responded to the attack today, the first act of terror since he took the oath of office. He was attending the Women in Healthcare panel this morning. Before opening the panel, he acknowledged he had been briefed on the attack but didn't go into a lot of detail. Sorry, we're just getting an update on London. <laughs> we're having some big news having to do with London, so it just happened. White House Press Secretary Sean Spicer also addressed the attack in his daily briefing. He said, quote, we obviously condemn today's attack on Westminster, which the United Kingdom is treating as an act of terror. 